Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The SBC section of FC24 continues to bring the hype during Serie A team of the season, and it looks like that's continuing today. We have a leak ahead that might mean an icon player SBC that would actually be worth crafting. I want to talk about that as well as more team of the seasons coming into packs today with a new mixed league team of players and the upgrade SBC that gives us the best chance of getting Serie A team of the season cards, the premium upgrades coming today as well. So I have to talk about that and the market doing crazy things once again yesterday and into today on Sunday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new, welcome to the inaugural video in the new setup. So hopefully this background's going to change a little bit. We're getting things moved in, so it'll change over time. But for right now, welcome. So yeah, you're in the first video in the new setup, so feel special, I guess. Let's talk about yesterday's content on Saturday with what we had on a big upgrade SBC day and a couple of interesting player SBCs as well. First of all, the weekly upgrades on Saturday, right? The bigger, more premier upgrade packs. We had not one, but two as expected. It was the 84 times seven. Here's the thing with this SBC. I hope you kept some team of the weeks around, or maybe you were doing a couple of team of the week player picks over the last couple of weeks, because once again, EA forgot to upgrade the requirements to team of the week or team of the season. And they only require team of the week cards in this 84 times seven. And since it is such a good upgrade pack, guess what's going up in price team of the weeks. I was, I mean, man, the last time they dropped the 84 seven, it was just team of the weeks. And I was wondering if they were going to do it again, would they not change the requirement? And guys, look at the state of team of the weeks. They are all the way 35,000 coins, 34,000 coins for team of the week cards after they were 15, 16 K literally yesterday in the video we looked at them they are up like crazy and it's because ea did not change that requirement to team of the week or team of the season but as always it is never worth buying a team of the week card off of the market it is always worth going and buying the players needed to do this 83 plus team of the week share that info with a friend or whoever because that will be one of the best pieces of information for this week since team of the weeks are so expensive so make sure you're doing that it is basically free to craft which some 84s 82s 83s right to get that done is very easy that's one thing i wanted to mention and hey the 84 7 is very nice i have not done any of them yet i need to because those are very good sbcs for getting team of the seasons and for getting high rated fodder for crafting the SBC. So we love that. Now the 83 times seven is out as well. This is the league specific one, NWSL in Serie A. It's any tots or team of the week. So smart there by EA and an 85 rated squad. I like that it's only one squad. I think it's okay. It's worth a try, right? Because 85 rated squads are so easy to come by, especially if you're on a team of the season, you're putting in 83s and 84s into the rest of that squad. Very easy, worth a try. As always, not too much else to say with that. Now, player SBCs. We had another, I want to say decent player SBC yesterday. We'll skip the showdowns just for a second and talk about Henrik Mkhitaryan. And it was exactly the same stats that we saw on the leak a couple of days ago. Finesse plus, pinged pass, and incisive pass. Really great play style pluses. And if it weren't for 88 pace, I would say this SBC would be a really big W. The only, I guess, kind of caveat with this SBC is since he's got a little bit lower stats on the pace shooting, maybe passing, right? At 92, it's kind of middle of the road at this time of the year. He could be evolvable soon, and maybe he already is out of one of these TOTS upgrade SBCs, or I mean Evolution, sorry. Uh, this is a card that's probably just going to end up playing better in-game. Mkhitaryan cards seem to always do that, so if you want to try a card out, he's 111,000 coins to craft, and he's not very highly upvoted because I think people don't like the stats on the card, and I totally get that. But he's got the coveted finesse plus and two very good passing playstyle pluses. So it might be worth the craft. It's two squads, 85, 88. So if EA is overpricing this SBC like this, I mean, they're either playing off of the nostalgia factor that it's Mkhitaryan or they know that he's good in game. So that's one interesting thing that I noticed about that yesterday. It's there and it's interesting. Not as good as Lookman or Renato Sanchez, but... It's okay, right? Now, let's go to the other SBCs that are making waves a showdown, guys. And we are super here for this because this is the showdown between Dortmund and Real Madrid for the UCL final. You get a kit as well. That's the official UCL final kit, I guess. London 24 looks pretty interesting. This is the card that's making waves. Of course, you know, a lot of people are rooting for Dortmund. A lot of people are rooting for Real Madrid. Take a look, guys, at these right here. Take a look at these cards and their prices. 
of the SBCs. 100,000 coins for Bino Gittens and 213,000 coins for Joe Salou. But it's this Joe Salou card that I think most people are doing because he has the five star skills. And yet again, it is another big body attacker, right? You think about Giroud that has been dropped recently. You think about Sorloth. There are so many insane strikers that have been dropped that are kind of taller, bigger bodied with aerial, maybe power shot plus, and kind of more for like hold up play and headers. And yet again, here's another one with Joe Salou. But to be completely honest, is this SBC a 100% must do? You know, it looks good. And there's a plus two on the line here. Whoever wins, right? We actually had a upgrade yesterday for Irene Paredes as the Barcelona women's team won the Women's Champions League. She goes to a 95 rated card and Marozin, the Lyon card, does not get upgraded. So boom, the upgrades are happening pretty fast and it could be a really sizable upgrade for this Joel Sabu card. That's all that I'm saying. So if you want to do this for the Madrid upgrade and you want to side with Madrid, it's kind of like what side are you picking, right? Either you're going to pick Joel Salou or you're going to pick Bino Gittins. And of course, if you're just going from a FIFA perspective, maybe the Joel Salou is a little bit better. This card, Bino Gittins, has got Finesse Plus, Pinged Pass Plus, and Rapid. And he's got good pace, but his other stats like defending, a little bit average for a left wing as well. Are you really interested in somebody who's got um, those kind of stats? 87 passing, 91 dribbling. I don't know. So this card looks a little bit interesting. It doesn't look as, I don't know, it doesn't like pop off the page as much as Joseph Lou does in my opinion. Still a decent SBC. If you're siding with Dortmund, he is cheaper. He's only 100,000 coins. So that's that. And it's nice to have these out. Of course, it is very nice to have these out and available and craftable because it's just excited once again to have a little bit of skin in the game for a big matchup like the Champions League final that is coming this next weekend. So that is out. That is coming. Now, Joe Salou is definitely the most completed card because take a look at some of these prices, guys. Lewandowski, I sold him on Friday for 900,000 coins. The bro is 600k, directly affected in price because of the Joe Salou card. I have to imagine that other strikers on the market are dropping as well, but it's really Joe Salou that's at least making this Lewandowski card, especially as another La Liga striker. And guys, the market itself is really, really, really muddied. I want to talk about that here in a second. I think we covered all the SBC content from yesterday. Let's go ahead and talk about evos really quick because there was one evolution that was dropped yesterday and to be fair it is actually moving some uh cards up in price and it is creating some decent cards but yet again it's another Syria or another league specific evo this Syria tots evolution just like the league one just like the la liga it's okay this one gives a whipped pass plus quick step plus and Anticipate Plus, which are very good play styles, right? And I still have this George Weah in the club from ages ago that I think is going boom straight into this evolution for me. This card for him, especially with the summer and the, uh, you know, the games upcoming for the Euros and for the Copa America, I'm really excited to get a George Weah card that could be pretty cracked. So for me, this one's a must complete. But I think for most people, this evolution just doesn't cut it there are some really good cards that you can put into this but for most it's just not good enough i think the card that most people are excited about is this teo hernandez guys 92 rated with anticipate plus even though his stats are a little bit lower it's a teo hernandez with 99 pace and with pass plus and anticipate it's kind of like for league one how hakimi was so hyped for a psg links because that was like his best evo card of the year this is the best gold hernandez upgrade of the year so that's kind of what's going on there with that evolution it's not great but at least it's free and you have an opportunity to make some nice cards out of that now let's talk market and let's look at some of these Serie A prices because yesterday on sunday or sorry on saturday today's sunday right we had um the 650k pack and the 750k pack dropped in this door the 750k is the tradable one that supplies these cards every single saturday and the 650k is the untradable one that guarantees you the most Serie A team of the season cards which of course a lot of people are going and opening with coins as you can tell the market is going down uh there's even the five 50k pack from Friday, but the 650 gives you three guaranteed Serie A with one guaranteed to be 92 or above. But just look at these prices and compare them to what we were looking at yesterday on the video, right? Remember last night, Bastoni was 1.6, and I was like, oh man, that's low. He actually went all the way up to, I think, 1.8 or 1.9. These cards had a really nice rise into Saturday. Yeah, 1.6 up to 1.875, uh, down to 1.2 mil where he is right now. Like, look at all these cards. They are just down horrendous. Giroud, 
Giroud last night was 900k. Now he's he was just below. He was like 660. He's getting bought up. He's being invested in for sure. Uh, but Giroud last night went from 880 to 1.1. Why wouldn't people want to invest in him again today? One of the most hyped up striker cards in the game. It's Giroud. Yes, he looks absolutely insane, and I'm sure he's good in game. I can't wait to try to pack him this week through upgrades. But um, that's a card that did really well yesterday and then got absolutely destroyed. I think that uh, the prices today may have a little bit less of a movement up in the morning, but there still could be some good trades to be had here because, guys, it looks honestly like there is some hype for Syria. 290 for Shalhanoglu. He went up 100K in kind of a spike and then came back down. He's been 240 to 250. Most of the meta cards in this team yesterday had some good positive movements upwards. Um, I don't even know about Pulisic. Pulisic yesterday was one that didn't, or on Friday was one that didn't move as much. He went from 595 to 660, and then he's been down. Ooh, he was below 500, and now he's back up a little bit. So I'm not investing, but I'm just trying to say that it was a normal Saturday, to be completely honest, in terms of how the cards moved on the market. They were up in the early morning hours in the middle of the day as people were starting to try those Serie A cards, going out, playing Weekend League with them. And then, of course, they dropped off later on because of the store packs. I think there's a direct correlation there every single week. It's because people are opening those packs with coins and uh, they're selling the cards that they pack from it, the tradable one. And, of course, a lot of people are, you know, they're just losing a bunch of coins during the Saturdays when those big packs come out. I'm going to try a 650 at some point during the week this week. Um, but definitely not right now with an SBC that are not many SBCs that I would like to craft. And uh, guys, you just saw me looking at this Ramos card, right? The market is really continuing to be mudded on all of the team of the season cards. We'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video. But this Ramos, I sold him for 1.6 on Friday. He's 1.2, like an insane, insane drop for a lot of these cards in price. It is wild. So that's kind of yesterday's content in a nutshell. What I want to do now is transition into talking about today because we had a big leak yesterday about an SBC that is upcoming and there's always a lot to look forward to when it comes to icons and those sorts of SBCs on Sundays, like player picks and stuff, right? Let's talk about today on Sunday. First of all, with this SBC leak, we're going to FIFA Trading Romania's page on Twitter saying, rumors indicate that we will have an icon center mid SBC soon. Right away when I saw this leak, I thought of Vieira because Vieira was leaked a couple of weeks ago to come during League One team of the season, and then he never actually was released. And at this stage of the game, they got to be giving us a banger of a center mid icon SBC. Like Vieira, Hullet, you know, there's there's a short list of options here. These are all kind of like the good ones, right? Even Zidane could make it. Maybe uh, Zico with his Future Stars icon card. But guys, out of all these names... I mean, obviously the best would be Hullet. Hullet for a birthday would be so incredible. He would be so good. But I just can't imagine that EA is going to give us a foot birthday icon Hullet SBC at this stage of the game, even though it would be cracked. And anyway, this guy's 9 million coins still on this game. I don't think it's happening, guys. If I had to guess who it's going to be, I think it's going to be a foot birthday card. And I think it's going to be an icon that kind of fits in with the Serie A vibes. And that would be... Pirlo. I think this was the first 99 overall stat version on any card that was dropped this year. He had 99 pay or passing, sorry, during the foot birthday promo. And it would make sense, right? An Italian icon, especially Pirlo himself during the Serie A. And as I think back to the icon SBCs that we have had during each and every one of these league specific promos, they have tied in. They have been players that played in those specific leagues. And of course, Pirlo did for a long time as well. So we're, it's, I think it's very possible that we get a Pirlo. I guess technically there's a potential for a Vieira, Zico, for a Hullet, right? But I think Pirlo would be the most likely card that would be coming as the SBC. Now, if he's dropping an SBC, how much is it going to cost, right? Is it going to be worth doing? All I think about when I think of Pirlo is the team of the year Pirlo that I used last year, and he was so incredible. I haven't used him this year, um, and I would like to get my hands on this card. It would actually be decent to try. It would be very helpful as well for linking some of these Serie A team of the season cards that maybe you and I want to try 
if this isn't that bad of a price, like let's say he's 2 million coins. He was 2.1 mil before this SBC, uh, before this leak. Some of those other midfielders are are dropping even further, but he's down. And I, that makes me even think more that it's going to be him. If this SBC comes in around 1.9 to 2 million coins, I think they're going to have to take a little bit off of the price to make people interested in a Pirlo SBC, to be honest. But I think it could be really good. If you need a box-to-box -box midfielder who's just always OP in game when he gets these boosted and juiced cards at the end of the year, you know, Pirlo could be decent. So it's not the most exciting icon SBC. I get that. But it could be a really solid one, especially since we're in the middle of Serie A team of the season. So watch out for that. I would say it's probably not really an investment to make for that. I know we saw team of the weeks go up a lot in price. Would team of the seasons go up in price for that? Probably not that much. I think they're still pretty low here in the low uh, 20, yeah, 20,000 coins for team of the season cards. So I'm not really investing for a, a Pirlo SBC right there. There's going to be some higher rated squads, but if it was like Hullet or Vieira, then I would say maybe there's an investment opportunity there. But for Pirlo, probably not. Other SBCs coming today. Speaking of Serie A related stuff, you guys know what's on Sundays, right? It's those league specific guaranteed premiums. Not guaranteed. It's the league specific premium upgrades. The guarantees come later in the week, right? But the premiums, right? Last week, of course, we had La Liga. We were crafting those and it requires the gold rare cards. It's coming back today, but for Serie A, it's going to be an interesting craft this week. It really is. I know a lot of you guys maybe have finished the TOTS crafting upgrade, which I only have 16 left of myself. We're almost done there you have the 81 plus player pick which might get re-released with the 82 on monday we'll see and then we have the 78 plus i think it's going to be an interesting week where you know the premiums are going to be worth doing but where do you start that's the question right i think you maybe start by going straight into the premiums getting the non-rares from that this is if you have the crafting done if you don't have the crafting done do the crafting first that's the best place to go insane sbc can't wait for them to do another one of these maybe as soon as possible honestly that was so good right but i think you start with the premiums after they come out today get the non-rares and put the non-rares into either the 81 plus pick or the 78 double because i haven't had a ton of luck with 78 doubles but they really do seem like worth the try. They really do. So I'm going to keep opening these. And the 78 double plus the uh, premium that will be out today could be a decent kind of menu grind in this game right now. So watch out for that. Get some rares in the club if you need to. Or honestly, go and buy cards for exchanges because exchanges are the best way to be doing upgrade packs at the moment. I think that 88s. Um, and like low 9k range or 87s and low 6k range even if you can get a 9, 89 or a 90 graded card under 19k that is very very good value for an exchange you put it into an exchange you open the pack you get the golds out of it and what you get out of that with the value of the golds is oftentimes worth more than the golds are on the market with all the players that you get so the exchanges are making that craft really good and that kind of starts back up today with the premiums returning now it's a sunday as well so what else do you expect right the player pick content whether it's heroes or icons they're both going away today because remember we got both last week Hopefully today we get an icon, right? The hero picks, like, they, if that never came back for the rest of the game, I'd be fine with it, right? I think most of us would, unless you're chasing Yaya or something. But an icon player pick today needs to be higher rated. 88 plus, these icons, most of them are so far behind the curve. At this point, it almost doesn't feel even worth it to do an icon gamble pick because unless you're getting a future star or a ultimate birthday, it doesn't feel worth it. And a lot of times... You're not getting very good ones. So the weight on these seem to be woeful. I did one last week. Doesn't make me want to craft any other ones again. We'll do player SBCs before we do these for sure. Unless they make it Golazo icons included, which they just did for the hero. So I don't know if they're going to do that yet for the icon player pick. Or if they go above at, and say 90 plus and make it a one of four, then maybe you'd have a better chance for some of those middle to top tier icons. They would make doing a gamble pick like this worth it. But I can't imagine it's going to be that good, guys. And if if we do not get an icon player pick that's good today, fodder won't move much. If we do, you could see 85, 6s, 7s, and 8s maybe bump up a little bit. I'm not investing in fodder, but that's just one thing I wanted to point out because I would expect that to refresh today. Now, the biggest thing for today in terms of team of the season cards is the new tots cards that are going to be coming into packs and if you think about all the players we've had so far for mixed league right we had a ronaldo we had a messi we've had some other really good players like mares we had firmino we had yikarez a lot of big names in all these leagues mixed leagues of team of the seasons right well 
There's one name that people have been saying, this guy hasn't got a special card in a long time. He should get a brand new team of the season item. He's been injured for a long time, so it's definitely not a deserved team of the season card. It is more of a selling packs, bringing the hype team of the season card that is coming today in the last new release of team of the season mixed leagues. Guys, you can probably guess who it is. It is Neymar. Neymar is coming. This is the official stats and the play styles for his card. Quick step, first touch, and finesse with 98 pace and 99 dribble. 92 shooting, 93 passing. It's been a hot minute since we had a Neymar in packs in this game. This is going to bring some hype for sure. Is he really deserving of it? You know, no. But team of the season moments aren't for who deserves it, right? Team of the season moments is just like you get into the promo card. It's com it's kind of just like a regular promo where EA just pick and choose players to get in. We've known this, right? It's the fifth week of Todd's. But Neymar is getting a card. I don't think anybody's complaining about that too much just because we haven't had a special Neymar in a while. He's getting a card. He's going to be expensive. He's going to be cracked. That's a big one. Koulibaly, some uh, Saudi League love here in this one of these last sets of teams. Or Tots team mix number... Actually, this is is this number four or this number five? I think this is number five, right? Because the one that's in packs right now is number four um, with the Icarus and stuff. But Koulibaly is coming as a card as well. Those are his stats and play styles. He's going to be cracked. He's always good. This card hopefully has Anticipate, but Bruiser, bruiser Aerial, and Slide Tackle are going to be pretty interesting. Um... Yeah, let's see how the in-game stats look on this card. Maybe he needs Relentless as well. I think, if I remember right, Koulibaly has some stamina issues, but that should be a fun one. And this one, I think, is really going to be fun as well. Icardi is added to come in Tot's mixed team number five. Official stats and play styles. Again, just like Josulu, um, you know, and kind of going along with the Sorloth narrative, right, as well. These tall strikers, the bigger-bodied strikers for hold-up play. Here's another one. Icardi with Finesse, Ariel, and Trevelles. Really solid-looking card. Really solid-looking card here. One thing I thought about is some of these players, even though they have Tots Plus, right, they might even be making some other cards, like we saw with Syria, the ones that were really hyped. You saw some of those other Syria special cards already existing, like Cordova and others go up on the market. Maybe a card like Zaha could move today. I know he's already up. I wouldn't buy this unless it was like 105,000 coins. But um, that's something to keep an eye on because he could be rising in price as people want to try out this Icardi card. Here's another one. Wendell's coming in team number five, a Brazilian left back from Porto, League of Portugal, getting shown some love. Jockey plus and technical plus with slide tackle. The card looks pretty average. Those are his stats and play styles there. He's going to be pacey. Pretty good dribbling as well, but I mean, you look at the defending stats, not the best. That's more of a fodder card. And of course, we have Timber coming for um, the Air Divisi in Team 5 as well. And that card, looking over it, looks pretty good. Probably going to be a bit cheaper, but Intercept and Ping Pass are nice. Block Plus is good too. That'll be a little bit cheaper, but Feyenoord fans might be happy with that one. And the last one is we're going back to the MLS for a Jordi Alba Tots Moments. <laughs> Technical, Whipped Pass Plus, and Tiki Taka Plus. Those are official stats and playstyle pluses. So that might be a card that a lot of people... Remember when Jordi Alba went up a bunch uh, because of... Was it the Messi card or uh, the Busquets card that went up a couple of weeks ago, right? It's looking like we're getting another Jordi Alba to go ahead and try out. Watch Messi specials today. I kept, I'm keeping my eyes on this inform. Not sure that I'm going to actually buy it. But if he gets low enough, he's actually a little bit lower now. If he gets even lower... We might consider that. So that's one thing to watch out for today. Those cards coming back into packs. And yeah, the Serie A team of the season grind really continues with the upgrade packs today. It's not a bad week is really what it seems. I can't speak for the pack weight personally, but as we saw the supply on the market on Friday, guys, it really seems like these cards aren't that difficult to pack. Now, again, I'm saying this and I haven't opened too many packs, so I need to get involved. I need to try out um, the upgrade packs and the crafting this week for sure. But it doesn't look that bad. Wow, Giroud is really flying. 700,000 coins plus. He's really just jumped up 40,000 coins. Uh, these cards, they do have hype. I mean, seeing how much they rose yesterday was really a big thing for me. I was like, all right, I'm noticing and I'm seeing here that these cards genuinely have demand and people want to use them and they want to try them out. So that makes me want to trade with them. I know yesterday, like Bastoni did very good. I don't know how much he's going to go up today. It doesn't look like he's going to move that much. But for the rest of the cards, like... 
there are some cheap beasts that are in this team. Oh, we didn't mention it either. Uh, we did have some price range updates for Leao. He's 2.8 million coins. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that I sold the other version of Leao yesterday as early as I could. He went all the way to 4.1 and down to 2.9. Wow, how much is this 93 Leao? Oh, he's still 1.1, really? Wow, okay. So I sold mine yesterday for uh, 1.07. Hey, he's still right around a million coins, which is pretty wild. But um, that's kind of the market right now is there's a couple of fluctuations here and there on Serie A cards, but a lot of the rest of the market is getting absolutely destroyed. It's probably going to go even lower today. So be careful. Be very careful with the cards that you maybe own. Yeah, 1.07 for layout. It was a good trading weekend for sure for a lot of these cards. We did post that on the second channel as well. If you're going to go ahead and check those out, those flips over there and kind of how we trade on promo Fridays and how we watch the market. I think it's really interesting uh, to do that. And some of you guys want to know how to do that. That video on the second channel from this past Friday will be a good one to watch to see that. And we'll do it again this Friday for Ultimate Team of the season. But before we get there, we've got today on Sunday, we got more Serie A team of the season content with the craft and with the SBCs coming today. Hopefully Pirlo is well priced and hopefully that's today. It's not a guarantee, but I'm hoping that that is today. That would be very, very nice along with the mixed league tots from team number five. So also wanted to update you guys on the weekend. Um, there won't be a stream today on Sunday, really busy day, but really busy weekend uh, for me personally. Also on Monday is a holiday. So we'll keep the videos turning out and of course doing those every day. But I will say there probably will not be a stream until Tuesday uh, just because of the really, really busy weekend of getting everything moved into the new place and settled. And of course, Monday being a holiday, it'll be a nice break from the crazy weekend. But We'll be back to the ground on Tuesday, man, because I am going to be behind on Weekend League. That's the first thing. Second thing is I am genuinely wanting to grind these menus just like I was last week for La Liga. I want to do it this week for Serie A. I think these cards are worth crafting for. NWSL even look at decent impacts too. And with the new Team 5 coming today for Mixed League, I want to grind it a little bit. So I will see you guys on a Tuesday for a stream, but we'll be back here tomorrow on the YouTube. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for Count Peace out.